Let's dive into the fascinating history and culture of the Rapa Nui people, the indigenous inhabitants of Easter Island. These people are best known for their incredible contribution to the world's cultural heritage, the creation of the Moai statues. The Rapa Nui people are believed to have settled on Easter Island, also known as Rapa Nui, around 1200 AD. They originated from Polynesia and traveled vast distances across the Pacific Ocean to make this remote island their home. The Rapa Nui culture was primarily an oral tradition with stories and legends passed down through generations. This means that much of their history remains a mystery and we must piece it together through archaeological evidence and the stories that have survived. The Rapa Nui people had a strong connection with nature and their environment. They lived in harmony with the land, relying on its resources for their survival. They practiced agriculture, cultivating crops such as sweet potatoes, taro, and bananas. They also fished in the abundant waters surrounding the island and hunted seabirds for additional sustenance. The Rapa Nui society was hierarchical, with a chief, or a riki, at the top. The Ariki was responsible for making important decisions and his authority was passed down through the family line. The society was divided into various clans, each with its own territory and responsibilities. The Rapa Nui people were skilled artisans, creating intricate wood carvings, petroglyphs, and of course, the incredible Moai statues. These statues are a testament to the Rapa Nui's craftsmanship and their dedication to their cultural and religious beliefs. In the next section, we'll delve deeper into the methods and techniques used to create these awe-inspiring monuments. Now that we've explored the history and culture of the Rapa Nui people, let's investigate the incredible methods and techniques they used to carve and transport the massive Moai statues. These iconic statues weigh several tons each, making the feat of moving them from the quarries to their final locations all the more remarkable. The Molai statues were primarily carved from tuff, a soft volcanic rock found at the Rainover Rock Quarry on Easter Island. The Rapa Nui people used stone tools, called topi, to carefully chip away at the rock, shaping it into the recognizable humanoid figures we know today. The statue's size varies greatly, with the largest Molai, known as Paro, weighing around 82 tons and standing over 33 feet tall. Simply astonishing. Once the statues were carved, the real challenge began, transporting the Moai to their final locations on the island, known as Ahu Ceremonial Platforms. Several theories have been proposed to explain how the Rapa Nui people managed to move these colossal statues. One popular theory is that they used wooden sleds and rollers to drive the statues across the island. However, due to the island's limited wood resources and the risk of damaging the statues, this theory has been debated. Another theory suggests that the Rapa Nui people used a technique called walking the statues into place. This method involved attaching ropes to the statue and having groups of people rock it back and forth, essentially walking it to its final destination. Recent experiments have shown that this method is viable and it could have been the way the Rapa Nui people moved the Moai. Regardless of the exact method used, it's clear that the Rapa Nui people were incredibly resourceful and ingenious in their efforts to transport the massive Moai statues across the island. In the next section, we'll examine the purpose and significance of these enigmatic monoliths in Rapa Nui society and their religious beliefs. Having explored the history and culture of the Rapa Nui people and the incredible methods they used to create and transport the Moai statues, let's now examine the purpose and significance of these enigmatic monoliths. We'll delve into their role in Rapa Nui society, religious beliefs, and ancestor worship. The Moai statues were more than just impressive feats of craftsmanship. They held deep spiritual and cultural significance for the Rapa Nui people. These statues represented deceased ancestors who were believed to possess divine power known as mana. It was thought that the Moai could protect the community ensure successful harvests, and bring prosperity to the island. 
the Moai were typically positioned on the Ahu platforms facing inland with their backs to the sea. This placement allowed them to watch over the people and the land, symbolically protecting their descendants. The Ahu also served as a place for ceremonies and offerings to the ancestors, further emphasizing the connection between the living and the deceased. The Rapa Nui people believed that the larger and more intricate the Moai, the more powerful the ancestor it represented. As a result, there was a constant drive to create bigger and more elaborate statues in order to honor and maintain the mana of the Rapa Nui society. This competition between different clans also played a crucial role in shaping the island's political landscape. In summary, the Moai statues were much more than just breathtaking works of art. They were deeply intertwined with the Rapa Nui people's religious beliefs, cultural identity, and social structure. These statues were a testament to the ancestors, their power, and their continued presence in the lives of the Rapa Nui people. In the next section, we'll analyze the ecological and environmental factors that contributed to the decline of the Rapa Nui civilization. Now that we've examined the purpose and significance of the Moai statues, let's turn our attention to the ecological and environmental factors that contributed to the decline of the Rapa Nui civilization. We'll explore how deforestation, resource depletion, and the introduction of invasive species played a role in this tragic decline. Easter Island was once covered in lush forests, providing the Rapa Nui people with valuable resources, such as wood for construction and tool making. However, as the population grew and the demand for resources increased, the island's forests began to disappear. Forests. So deforestation had severe consequences for the environment and the Rapa Nui. One of the primary causes of deforestation was the need for wood to transport the massive Moai statues. As we discussed earlier, the Rapa Nui people may have used wooden sleds and rollers to move the statues. This method would have required a significant amount of wood, leading to the depletion of the island's forest. Additionally, the Rapa Nui people relied on wood for constructing houses, boats, and other essential items. The loss of the island's forests led to soil erosion, making it increasingly difficult for the Rapa Nui people to grow crops. This, in turn, resulted in food shortages and increased competition for the remaining resources. Furthermore, the island's wildlife, such as birds and marine life, was also affected by the environmental changes further straining the Rapa Nui people's ability to sustain themselves. Another factor contributing to the decline of the Rapa Nui civilization was the introduction of invasive species, such as the Polynesian rat. These rats arrived with the first settlers and quickly multiplied, feeding on the island's vegetation and native bird eggs. This further exacerbated the ecological imbalance on the island. In conclusion, a combination of deforestation, resource depletion, and the introduction of invasive species led to the decline of the Rapa Nui civilization. The once thriving society faced a myriad of challenges that ultimately proved insurmountable. In the next and final section, we'll discuss the current efforts in conservation and restoration of the Moai statues and the ongoing research to better understand the history and legacy of the Rapa Nui people. As we wrap up our exploration of Easter Island and the mystery of the Moai, Let's discuss the current efforts in conservation and restoration of these iconic statues, as well as the ongoing research to better understand the history and legacy of the Rapa Nui people. The Moai statues have faced numerous threats over the years, such as natural erosion, vandalism, and theft. Recognizing the importance of preserving these priceless cultural treasures, organizations like UNESCO and the Easter Island Foundation have stepped in to help protect and restore the Moai. In 1995, UNESCO declared Easter Island a World Heritage Site, ensuring the protection and preservation of the Moai and other important archaeological sites on the island. Conservation and restoration efforts are carried out by teams of local and international experts. These efforts include stabilizing the statues, repairing damage, and using non-invasive techniques to clean and protect the Moai from further harm. Additionally, some Moai have been re-erected on their original Ahu platforms, 
allowing visitors to experience the statues as the Rapa Nui people once did. The ongoing research plays a vital role in uncovering more information about the Rapa Nui people and their enigmatic Moai statues. Archaeologists, anthropologists, and other experts continue to study the island, its history, and its people to better understand the factors that contributed to the rise and fall of the Rapa Nui civilization. This research helps to dispel myths and misconceptions, while also providing valuable insights that can be applied to modern-day conservation and sustainability efforts. In conclusion, the Moai statues at Easter Island are not only a testament to the incredible craftsmanship and ingenuity of the Rapa Nui people, but they also serve as a powerful reminder of the importance of preserving our planet's cultural and ecological heritage. Through ongoing conservation, restoration, and research efforts, we can ensure that the legacy of the Rapa Nui people and their remarkable Moai statues endures for generations to come.